Let's look at one more. Now, we're not going to spend much time on this one because it's just too ugly for me personally. But the monkey slug caterpillar. Yuck. Right next door is another yucky one. But this is the naked mole rat. Yes, indeed. The naked mole rat, which some of you will remember, there's the Mo Willems book called Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. So that's why I thought, let's learn a little bit about this naked mole rat. So we already saw that there's description and we know that there's habitat. Let's look at this heading here called diet. So diet, we talked about earlier, is a scientific word that means what an animal eats regularly. Okay, so they're normal, what they normally eat. So naked mole rats live almost entirely underground and rarely visit the surface. This means they must survive on food that is found under the earth. For example, roots, plant bulbs, and stems. These are collected by the worker rats and brought back to the colony for the other rats and the queen rat to feast on. Hmm. There you go. So we have our description diet, habitat. And the last one here is our conservation status. So it says the naked mole rat has a relatively large distribution area, helping ensure a sustainable population. That means that they have a lot of different places that they live and they can move around quite freely. Some animals you find in here can only live in very specific places. The numbers of naked mole rats seems to be growing. Their habitats are essentially untouched since they spend their days and nights underground in tunnels. However, since they use their burrows to find root vegetables under the ground, they have the potential to be treated as pests by farmers if their numbers increase too dramatically. So if you've got naked mole rats on your farm and they're eating things under the earth, we know that carrots and other vegetables will grow under the earth and you just see the green parts on top. So the naked mole rat is coming up under the earth and eating all the good stuff. If you're a farmer, then your naked mole rat is a, would be a problem. Okay, so these are just a few animals or creatures in our book, and we just jumped around. We went from page 9 to 37 to 52. You may want to spend a whole lot of time reading this book, and you may want to only have it for a few days and just look at a few things and then put it back on the shelf. That's quite a lot too. Information books are great that way. If you're looking for very specific information, maybe you want to have a pet um, naked mole rat. So you wanted to learn a little bit about it. Don't get a pet naked mole rat. They're weird and gross. Um, but then you can just read that one section. Um, about our author here, I just thought we'd talk about her because she's an interesting character. Her name is Sammy Bailey, and she's what we call a natural history illustrator. So she is an artist who, who um, has specified, or, um, focused on drawing and painting things that exist in the wild and to draw them accurately so that if we've never seen one in the wild, if we look at pictures or illustrations, we have a pretty good idea of what it would look like. If we look at Mo Willem's illustrations of the naked mole rat, it's pink and it kind of fun and, and a, a cartoony kind of creature but if you're a natural illustrator you want to make sure that the illustrations look very close to an animal in the wild. Um, Sammy Bailey is only 23 years old and this book has been shortlisted for the best information book of 2020. That's very exciting. Um, our friend Kate at Bloomin Books uh, has met Sam Bailey a couple of times. Uh, Sam, Sammy lives in Newcastle and she said that she's a lovely young person and very, um, very bright and very enthusiastic. So it's always nice to know uh, a little bit about the author. Okay. When I see you at school, we will start exploring the information section together. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you soon.